Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try this little light of mine. It's a G chord. C chord. Back to G. B7 to B minor. That's about the simplest way you can play it. Um, I'm going to show you some variations that you can do, make it more interesting if you want. So let's go over some of these chords. A G chord, you could use any G chord you want. Uh, the one I was playing was 6th string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd fret, 1st string 3rd fret. And my strum was just down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay. I did it four times. I went to a C chord for three times. Chord is a second string, first fret, fourth string, second, fifth string, third. I, I get rid of that sixth string. Okay, I do that three times, and then I go back to G. Stay on the G. So G technically is three times, um, and then I go to a B7 chord. Uh, B7 chord is fifth string, second fret, fourth string, first fret. 3rd string 2nd fret and 1st string 2nd fret definitely get rid of that 6th string I'm only going to do one pattern on that one and then I'm going to go to an E minor which is the 5th string 2nd and the 4th string 2nd and then one pattern on that Okay. then you go back to your G for 1 D7 for 1 D7 is the 2nd string 1st uh, fret the 3rd string and the 1st string 2nd fret Sixth string. The point in the song where you do the B7 to the E minor. Okay, you can do like a little substitution there. We could play like G to B7, E minor to C minor. Okay, right there at that spot. We got to change our strum pattern. So you just do your first three strums: the down, down, up on a G, down, down, up on a B7. Same thing on E minor, and then the C minor. Okay, it is a bar chord, so if you can't do bar chords uh, yet, then this version is not for you. But if you're at that point where you want to spruce things up and you can do them, there you go. A lot of people do this particular um, uh, substitution in the song. So the C minor, you bar the 3rd fret, the top 5 strings, 2nd string, 4th fret, 4th fourth, fourth string, and 3rd string at the 5th fret. Get rid of that 6th string. Alright, that's your C minor chord. All right, so that's that's a substitution. I'm going to play the whole song again, uh, progression again, and I will put that in, that substitution. Um, also, at the end of the song, you know how you uh, go to the G chord? You could do like a, a G, a C, and a G. So that is, you already know the G, C, and G. So uh, I'm going to put that one in at the end of the song also. So two substitutions this time, all right? So G, C, back to G. Okay, so that's a nice little substitution you can put in there for, uh, for the song if you like. Um, there's, there's, there's other stuff you can do too, like uh, after you do the, the G to the B7, the E minor to the C minor, instead of going to a G chord, some people go to an A7 to a D7, G, C, D. So, um, so we've got that substitution in too. So you could do that. Let's try that one. So you got G. I didn't tell you how to play A7. You probably know. Fourth string, second fret, second string, second fret. At the end there, I just went G, C, G, D7. You could also do G, D, G. Uh, 
D7 is just a substitute for D. Um, it makes it pull more towards a G, a G chord. So uh, if you don't like D7s or you don't know them and you, or you don't want to play them, just play D chords. Okay? So those are some of the things that you could do on this little light of mine. Okay? Uh, let me play the whole thing through one time. G. I'll throw in all the substitutions I can think about. And then a C. Back to G. G. G to B7, E minor, C minor, A7 to D7. G, C, G, D7, G. There you go. So that's this little light of mine. Uh, play more guitar. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.